Hello! Today I'm going to show you this coat, this crochet coat. I call it a coat because it's uh, crocheted with a bulky yarn and uh, it is really uh, big and heavy and uh, it is crocheted with uh, a stitch uh, that uh, I already show you uh, it is mini bean stitch uh, and it has a very simple um, crocheting project uh, we just make two pieces one for uh, left and one for right front from bottom up um, with no increases or decreases uh, to the armholes, it's just a straight piece. We just make some uh, decreases here to form the shoulder line. I believe it's always necessary uh, to this point uh, to really wrap the shoulders, um, the crocheted item. And uh, well, we have one piece for the left front, one for the right, one piece for the back piece. Uh, then we uh, join um, here at the bottom armhole uh, with a slip stitch yarn and um, crochet in rows uh, the sleeves which is uh, also a, a piece without any decreases because I, want, I really wanted something to be able to wear it with a big cardigan from inside and have no problem and believe me it's it's a very nice and elegant uh, thing and uh, last uh, we are attaching yarn uh, here somewhere here in the front piece and uh, we are crocheting the collar uh, in a way that it forms here a very good shape in order to f to fold and uh, form this collar shape i mean stay folded till this piece where i put a button and without any uh, button hole it we don't need one and lastly i crocheted an edging with uh, a grey uh, uh, yarn, not in the same quality, so because I wanted it to be um, more heavy than it is, I uh, crocheted with two yarns together of the grey colour, just single crochet, or I don't remember, I will tell you, maybe it's half double crochets, all over uh, the collar and the front pieces. And as an edging, uh, to the sleeves also, where I have two rows of this edging. Let's go and crochet this. To begin this uh, crochet coat, um, you have to make a slip knot and a foundation chain of 21 stitches. You may also choose to make a foundation uh, single crochet row uh, if you are familiar with this technique it is uh, better for sure or make uh, your foundation chain loose enough so it won't stretch one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. We need a multiple of uh, two plus one stitch for mini bean stitch. And uh, I used to make um, a single crochet row as a foundation row before I uh, start up with my crochet pattern. So insert your hook in second chain from hook and work a single crochet and 
single crochet in every stitch inserting your hook there in the upside of uh, every stitch and work uh, in every stitch a single crochet till the end you should have at the end a row of uh, 20 single crochet uh, when we make uh, the foundation row for bean stitch we just need um, an even number of stitches so uh, a multiple of two <clears throat> when we have uh, already made our first single crochet row we turn and uh, we are ready now to uh, crochet the bin, the mini bin stitch. So to crochet this, chain two at the beginning of the row. Skip first single crochet stitch. It is right uh, below the chain two we've just made, and and insert your hook and work a bin stitch in second chain. To work a bin stitch, we have to insert our hook in this stitch, in the indicated stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. So we have two loops on hook. Then we yarn over again and insert our hook in the same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. So we have four loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all four loops on hook and chain one to secure the stitch this is a bin stitch it's a um, very nice uh, stitch and uh, I believe it's easy uh, and we repeat this I mean skip one stitch work a bin in next stitch pull your yarn so it has a certain uh, size here and when you, you yarn over and insert your hook again pull up again so you you have all uh, strands of yarn at um, approximately the same size and yarn over and pull all four loops and chain one because we chain one we, we skip a stitch and this is what we do till the end of the row oh, I'm sorry I didn't skip, yes now I skipped work and chain one, skip a stitch don't yarn over the first time yarn over only the first time uh, the second time and chain one skip a stitch insert your hook there to this stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert and pull up a second loop, four loops of hook and chain one. This is uh, the front part, left and right, you have to make two like this and I will work the row till the end. Just a moment. <clears throat> Since you have 20 stitches, you may uh, work more stitches if you want it wider. But if you work 20 stitches, uh, you have to make and you will count 10 uh, bin stitches. At the end of the row, watch out a little bit. We have one uh, stitch here and one last stitch there at the very uh, last uh, part of our piece and we will insert there our hook to make our last bin stitch so insert there and pull and chain one and turn we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten um, bin stitches and we have to have in mind that in every row 
when we count again, we have to find out that there are always 10 bin stitches. Now we are going to chain 2 and work bin stitches in these small triangles. It's, it's not the chain 1 space between the two bin stitches. It's um, the first part of uh, the bin stitch, which is uh, an unfinished single crochet and it creates a small triangle. So if you pull a little bit, we are going to find these triangles here and in these stitches we are going to work bin stitches. At the beginning we are going to chain 2, always at the beginning chain 2, doesn't count as a stitch. And in the very first triangle we work our first bin stitch and chain one. Then pull a little bit right below you can see the other bin stitch and there we work the same again. And uh, since we are crocheting with a very big hook it's a 10 millimeter uh, crochet hook. Uh, then stitches are wide open and you can see clearly uh, you can find uh, where to put your hook. So we are uh, at row 2 and um, you are going to repeat this row. I mean, so it's row 3. Um, from the beginning, but I don't count row 1 of single crochet. Uh, row 1, uh, it was made on a single crochet row, so you have in mind that you will repeat row 3, which is what you clearly are going to see in every row. You are going to begin with, with a chain 2 and work bin stitches in uh, on uh, to the left side of the bin stitch of previous row. So, uh, to have a height uh, for about, um, just a moment, um, 31 inches, uh, I crocheted uh, 48 rows, uh, 48 rows, the same thing, just plain bean stitches, I believe it's easy. And uh, you can easily do this uh, this pattern. If you want to uh, make it longer, you can do more rows. When I reach at row uh, twenty, uh, sorry, forty six, till row forty six, I work without uh, anything else, just. A repeat row of row 3 and uh, always I have always just a moment to add yarn because I'm run of yarn and uh, then uh, I make uh, no decreases for armhole uh, so I reach to the shoulders and there I will make a small uh, decrease in order to have a shoulder line I will show you this row. I'm sorry. When I'm in a hurry, I always make mistakes. And I can't find my scissors. Always. Just a moment to untie my knot. without scissors on a camera. Okay, I will join yarn and show you this decrease row. Chain one, just a moment to go a little bit fast. And I'm near the end. So I will join in a very bad way <laughs> some yarn 
and make my last work my last bean stitch and see you in a moment uh, we are at row 47 we have uh, nearly um, reached the end of our front piece and we want to make a decrease here so we form we shape a shoulder line we uh, have worked our last uh, bean to the last row and chain one and turn and I will work one slip stitch here at the uh, bean stitch one slip stitch in second stitch which is the chain one between bean stitches second slip stitch here a third slip stitch in second bin of previous row and now we will, uh, we will work a single crochet I, I think it's three times just a moment I, I will single crochet in chain one for the first time I'm getting a little bit up and uh, single crochet in second bin for the second time and a single crochet for the last time in chain one space between two beans, uh, two bean stitches between third and fourth. This is my last single crochet of the decreased stitches. So from from the beginning, I made three slip stitches and three single crochet. So I have reached. Uh, one, two, three, fourth. I'm very near at the fourth um, bean stitch, and there I begin working bean stitches again. So I will insert my hook and work a normal bean stitch and the chain one, and I will go till the end of the row. That means uh, that I will make one bean stitch. Let's go to make the second one. The third. The fourth. The fifth. the sixth chain one and the seventh uh, from ten that we had we've got only seven to this row and chain two and turn and we will may, uh, work now our last stitch for the front piece uh, we began at this side of the row to uh, move up and now we are going to work normally our bean stitches and then at the end of the row we are going to make decreases again so uh, our uh, shoulder will be formed I chain two at the beginning and uh, I will make five bean stitches inserting my hook in first one and I will work the first bean stitch of the row so one two three four and five <coughs> and chain one and uh, I had seven bean stitches at, at previous round row, row. now I have five uh, bean stitches 
and I will uh, single crochet here at the loop of, of next stitch first single crochet um, and then just a moment because I lost my single crochet chain one single crochet next stitch also <clears throat> and chain one and I will end my row sooner than it uh, it is ended in previous row so I will make in next stitch a slip stitch in next stitch a slip stitch and if you think that it is necessary in last row a slip stitch two three slip stitches and I have I don't have the whole piece for you to see but you can see it's already um, made I mean here I have a higher point and here to the shoulder it's getting down and it's a very simple way to form uh, the shoulders you will do the same thing in back piece uh, it's a little bit complicated there because you have to do this in two um, parts of the piece I mean not only in one part and um, so in back piece I will describe a little bit what you should do if you find yourself at row uh, 47 of the back piece you are going to start decreases from here uh, you will work at the center of the pieces of the piece, back piece um, 13 in, the, in back piece we have in total 19 uh, bean stitches in the decrease row in the first decrease row we are left with uh, 13 and uh, after we have made 13 we are working um, to make uh, a mirror decrease like we did in the beginning we will make it at the end so if we had made um, three slip stitches and three single crochet at the beginning uh, at the end of the row we are making the opposite three single crochet and three slip stitches and we turn back to work our last 48 row and there we'll do the same thing whatever we do in front piece from the one side uh, we're going to work uh, to the back side uh, but in this last row we will have uh, um, 11 bean stitches at the center normal bean stitches and all the rest will be single crochets and uh, slip stitches this is uh, the back piece then uh, after this we have to to sew to, to sew sorry I cannot pronounce this word with the right way we have uh, to sew this the <coughs> shoulders and uh, we have to just a moment to sew the side seaming from bottom up you have to measure um, about 60 centimeters uh, or choose to leave open let's say around uh, 28 20 um, um, 25 to 28 centimeters I don't make it too wide here because uh, working no decreases I don't want it to be very very wide I have the same width here and at the arms it's not uh, super wide here I love it as it is if you wanted to make a decrease you could of course 
And uh, have in mind that four sleeves, adding, uh, joining new yarn here at the bottom underarm, we're going to work <coughs> this way to the side of our work, uh, bin stitches also. And uh, we will join yarn, we will chain two. And we will work uh, uh, seven bin stitches uh, till the shoulder. I work one stitch here at <coughs> well seven till here till here one uh, bin stitch here and seven from the other part till the bottom armhole. And there I join with a slip stitch in chain two and chain two and uh, back again uh, in one row I have the inside facing me and in the other row I have the outside facing me so I work in rows uh, till the length that I want and for the collars uh, you are going to find uh, a distance measuring your chest it's about uh, this point where I put the button is uh, a little bit more down than our chest is and uh, we are working in, uh, joining stitch uh, with a slip stitch uh, here yarn and uh, we are working <coughs> 18 bin stitches till our uh, shoulder uh, then 12 bin stitches here from shoulder to shoulder at the back uh, neck line and 18 stitches more mirroring the other side what we do is um, that in our um, 18, 18, yes uh, and I work a sort of decrease in every row so I go one row and one row back and then I slip stitch three stitches and I uh, skip one bean stitch so in second row I make uh, one bin stitch um, minus, let's say, uh, in this part, and at the end of the row, I work till not the last stitch, but one stitch, one bin stitch before the last, and I slip stitch here to the end, and I work three rows, one, two, three rows. One, two, three, four, five rows for my collar. Uh, uh, at first, at my first row, I made a foundation row, I think, with single crochet. I'm going to write down in comments so you know. Uh, but for a full, full pattern and written and uh, with step by step photos, you will, are going to find on my Etsy shop. Uh, so I have one, two, three, four, five rows. Of bin stitches and in every row I work less minus my god less bin stitches so uh, here we form this shape less white here and more white here if you like this type of co colors and for uh, the end I just work uh, half double crochets as an edging in this grey color I wanted to, to to make my edging really from one color and um, I'm going to explain what I will do just a moment, see you in a moment I have made 
a miniature finally in order to show you how uh, to attach all pieces of uh, this coat crochet coat uh, this is the back piece and I have joined uh, the shoulder for front piece we just put this way uh, the two edges uh, the upside of uh, the pieces maybe if I show you this way this is the back piece right side facing us and uh, front pieces right side facing us also and we put it this way uh, and we are going to um, sew the uh, shoulder seam in a way that we will leave open uh, around uh, 7.80 uh, inches for back neckline I mean this much open and in every front piece around 4 inches open okay and it will be still a rectangle here we will have a corner and I will show you how uh, we will fix it so I put uh, two pieces together in this uh, side and I will show you right front facing us and we begin sewing uh, I will take I have this whole loop here and this whole loop here and I will take the external part the up the back loop let's say from here and this external from this side loop and again uh, from this side to this side and I, I believe it's um, a stitch that you cannot see after finishing sewing again I'm going to show you this is the two parts of the loop this is also the two parts of the loop from this side I take the outside and also from this side the outside which is down and I pull it and I think if I tighten my stitch it's okay oh I'm sorry I have one stitch more this is not the real length of my front pieces but what is real is what I leave open so I leave open in order for you to see and understand what you will do the important thing is that uh, we are going to leave open uh, uh, around 8 inches uh, a little bit less than 8 it's uh, 7.80 inches in, from shoulder to shoulder total circumference of back neckline and around 4 inches in each front piece so you can see we have uh, a total beautiful neckline and this is our sides uh, the important thing, thing here is that we are going to sew and, and uh, we are going to leave uh, unsewn here uh, a space from shoulder till down bottom armhole uh, around nine and a half inches nine and a half inches in front part nine and a half inches in back part so in total uh, 19 inches an opening uh, and I will sew just very very quickly so we have a sort of cardigan in front of us to understand what to do okay I take away my sewing needle and I'm going to show you if I find my hook just a moment I'm sorry okay and again 
Thank you. I will attach yarn for the sleeve in this bottom armhole point and working uh, as uh, the right uh, side is facing us. So I join yarn and I make one chain to secure it and one more to begin our round. We are going to uh, work at the sides of uh, at the edge spaces of our rows so it's not very clear where we will put our um, stitches here but the important thing to know is that we are going to work uh, seven bin stitches still up the shoulder one uh, bin stitch right in the shoulder line and seven bin stitches uh, till um, in the on the other side so find a loop to f to work your first uh, bean stitch and chain one uh, bean stitch uh, to be uh, clear you have to chain one right after chaining a bean stitch so I will skip one stitch but I, I'll keep in mind that I have to make seven I didn't measure this uh, uh, space, it is smaller now, but I just want to show you uh, the way to do it. So I skip one and make one more. This is the way we were crocheted uh, the body and now I turn my work and crochet this way to this hole which is an opening for sleeve and then I will not count the number of uh, bean stitches made here now just showing you and I'm going to make it fast so the important thing is that I, I will show you the way to join the round and turn back again. I'm in shoulder and I put I work a bean stitch here. Okay. And I will make it fast and not so right now pin stitches but be sure that you work into a stitch into a loop in both uh, parts of of a loop so it won't leave a hole again inserting here and chain one and again i don't want to insert my hook here so i find a loop to work and this is with the a loop also with the back strand and here again sometimes you have to work in a loose stitch so it may leave a hole but it won't believe me okay one and yarn over and go out again now I'm near In, in the point where I started I will pull a little bit so I can see clearly the chain 2 in the, uh, that I made in the beginning there you go to the second chain 
you insert your hook in second chain and work a slip stitch and then turn your work so that the inside of your sleeve is facing you and you are going to work the opposite direction making again a chain 2 to start right abo above the chain 2 of previous row and as we have turned we have th the reason we do this um, crocheting in rounds is that uh, what we need is to find this uh, bean stitch having this triangle uh, to the left if I was keep on crocheting this way uh, then bean stitches in, a, in round uh, it would not be right because the triangle is uh, to the right to keep the same pattern as before I have to turn and work one round having the inside facing us and then the next uh, the outside so you can see clearly now the triangle the right stitch where we insert our hook is here and we will work we will work a bin stitch in every bin of previous row around here again uh, and then do the same thing join and turn to work from the outside this is our sleeve that has already begun shaping and we will not be um, we will not have much work to do after this because uh, the sleeve is going to end like this and we will need no sewing in this part of the cardigan let's go and make the color now we have finished with uh, the sleeves and um, the sewing of shoulders and sides and now uh, the, uh, the second thing we are going to do after this is that we are going to make a half double crochet edging <coughs> and uh, we are going to work edging all the way uh, sorry, up to the left front side uh, in the back neckline and right afterwards to the right side till the bottom uh, we do this because we have to to, uh, to make a base rows, a base uh, round, sorry, of the half double crochet. Uh, we join yarn. Let's say this is the bottom edge of my uh, left front piece, and I join yarn here, and I chain one. Uh, I when I uh, crochet row of half double crochet uh, we cannot just chain two and then skip uh, skip a distance a space and work a, ha a half double crochet here to avoid this gap I do this at the beginning of the row after chaining one I slip stitch in this first stitch and chain one this um, with this way we can skip the gap between two first stitches and now we will work along the side of the row in the edge spaces of rows and we have to half double crochet evenly spaced from bottom till this corner we have to work uh, 44 half double crochet then in this corner we will, uh, will work two uh, double crochet in same stitch then in this part of front neckline three uh, half double crochet in back neckline 13 and then we mirror again three half double crochet till the corner 
two dub half double crochet in corner and 44 from this corner of the right piece till bottom. I believe it's easy to do this. And then it's going to be easier to work our collar with this foundation row. Uh, it makes it easier to work the foundation, the collar after a while. So I half double crochet. I'm still uh, at the left piece. I don't count my stitches right now because it's a small sample. I just want to show you the way to do this and the way how it looks already um, neater this edge you have to hold with two hands these big loops and this big hoop hook and I am now at my corner and I will work two half double crochet one and one more in same stitch this is a way to uh, make this corner better and my shoulder is unsewn now so I will turn now to make three more half double crochet this is the front neckline one two, three, it's enough for this space, it makes it as you see a little bit round, this is what we want because we are going to crochet a collar here and we want to open this way and this is going to be very nice. After this, after three half double crochet, I go mm, I work to the back. I'm sorry, I have to. Just a moment, I will solve the problem. Making this stitch. So, this is my shoulder, and now I'm at the back and work 13 stitches here at the back neckline which you can do it you will space them evenly in this uh, space of back neckline then three more half double crochet here it's the left front neckline and 42 in the corner and 44 again to the other side till the bottom and this, uh, this way we are going to make a first edging to our cardigan it's the time to work the collar and as we have finished the uh, front edging all over uh, the cardigan. We are now uh, work the collar from our chest. You have to measure a space of around how many inches? I'm sorry, of around 12 inches from this corner uh, to bottom. Measure this um, space. It will be nice around 
uh, 12 edges uh, or you can make it more so you will join yarn uh, at this point and work from here up to the shoulder join yarn chain one to secure and we are going to work this way and we want to uh, give this shape so we are going to slip stitch single crochet and then move on and make bin stitches our first stitch will, is going to be a slip stitch so slip stitch in next stitch and then single crochet in next one and then chain one skip a stitch from your base and work a bean stitch your first for the collar in next stitch bean stitch and chain one right after so I'm coming up the heel you can see I skip one stitch I work a bean stitch in next one and this is the pattern I will repeat and chain one right after uh, I skip a stitch you can see clearly from here the stitches and work a bean stitch and chain one right after this and I, I will go this way making bean stitches all the way back the neckline and then here to the other front neck and I will uh, uh, go down and when I um, have made uh, 22 bean stitches I will write down if I can how many we do in each part of the cardigan but it's around 22 bean stitches still here we will work a single crochet and a slip stitch to um, end this row and then turn back again and work the same thing slip stitch, uh, single crochet and in row 2 we will work uh, the same number of bean stitches 22 and then work 3 more rows um, making a decrease in row 3 we are going to slip stitch twice and single crochet in first bin of the row here uh, so we will skip a bin stitch and work 20 bin stitches and in last bin of row 2 we are going to work a single crochet here and then slip stitch, slip stitch and the collar is going to be shaped this is the color and uh, when it is uh, finished uh, the color is about six rows uh, we're going to work a final edging in a different color that's going to to, to make uh, the cardigan more beautiful I'm going to show you in a moment to work the final edging in this gray color that I chose to make a contrast with uh, Marili uh, jacket but I believe it's good here too I couldn't find a bulky weight yarn so I used a worsted weight yarn and I used two strands of yarn and I will insert uh, my hook in the bottom edge of my left piece again uh, and begin oh yes the right thing to do is uh, to um, insert your hook here to the right bottom edge uh, having the wrong side uh, in front of you I did this because I wanted to make an edging that when the collar folds to the outside looks uh, more nice but now I have made here it's not that, that important I have my half double crochet rows here so I will show you from here what to do we just uh, want to make a chain 2 for the beginning and then skip
skip one uh, stitch and work two half double crochet one and one more in same stitch uh, when I have half double crochet in front of me the foundation row in this yarn it will be uh, easier this is why we made this foundation row so we'll skip this half double crochet okay and go to the next and work two half double crochet in gray here one and one more in this stitch same thing here I will skip this and go to the next stitch and work one half to double crochet and a second one skip one and work two together in next stitch I believe it's an easy edging but it gives something elegant when it finishes this way you can see from here and you can see this way and uh, one more I will make it in front panels I made just one row of this uh, edging it looks very nice to the collar when it falls and uh, I made the same edging uh, to the edge, bottom edge of the sleeves and there I worked two rows uh, I make one round, I joined, then I turned as my sleeve was here let me show you it was already finished and so it was a round I make one round in grey then I join uh, here to the first stitch I mean in second stitch of my initial chain 2 I join with a slip stitch this is for the sleeves and then I turn so I have the inside facing me again chain 2 and now I will work uh, in between two pairs of half double crochet and I will work two half double crochet again just in space between the two pairs not in some particular loop and this is how it looks you can always start from the inside and finish the row uh, do the exact opposite thing of what I showed you now uh, so this is going to be a neater, a neater edge uh, when you finish the second row to the outside this is the cardigan I hope you like it I hope I helped because it's a very, very uh, it's not difficult but it's a rather big project big for YouTube to show it to you uh, if you like it I, I like uh, to read your comments um, subscribe to my channel this is a great help for me uh, above all uh, I want you to know that due to my uh, past life and my experience in making patterns in fabrics for uh, children clothes up to 15 years old I know how to make a pattern uh, fit, fit well on our bodies I know how to sew in fabric and uh, so it's easier for me to create a pattern uh, of anything uh, for child and for adults that will fit well uh, I want your trust that my patterns really fit when you do it. Uh, so um, 
subscribe and tell me your opinion you can find this pattern on my Etsy shop uh, if you want to buy a written PDF thank you very much for your patience for your company uh, for everything have a nice time bye